Howdy folks, Dave of Chaos Crafting here. It looks like we're going to make some wash today. This is going to be wash for terrain. I've talked about it, used it in previous videos. I'll go ahead and throw the recipe I use up on screen now. Here are the items you're going to need. Jet dry. Matte medium. Pigment of your choice. Today I'm going to make some really dark brown, almost black. So I'm using Carbon black acrylic ink and burnt umber acrylic ink to get the color I'm looking for. And you're going to need water. So let's let's start mixing, shall we? First off, I got some plastic squeeze bottles off the internet. And I went ahead and marked out some measuring lines. This is a quarter cup. A quarter cup equals about two ounces. So you could use a measuring cup to create your own mixing values. Now the first thing we need to do is we need to do a 10 to one mix of water to flow aid. What the flow aid does is it keeps the wash from beating on the surface where you don't want it and it gets it to flow into the cracks where you do want it. So I have about 10 ounces in the mixing cup. So following our recipe, I'll do a one ounce addition, 10 to one. All right, get that stirred up. So you're going to want a one-to-one -one mix of the matte medium to the water. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take two ounces, put it in my bottle. That's, that's about it. All right, so I've got two ounces in there. So I'm going to mix two ounces of our water in with that. So now we're about almost four, four ounces total. Now it comes down to adding the pigment. Since I want this to be dark, I'm gonna start off with a carbon black. There. 
and I'm going to put three droppers full of the carbon black. Followed by three droppers full of the burnt umber. That will give a little bit of depth to the wash. It won't just be black. There'll be some browns in there as well. Uh, what we do is we get the cap on, make sure it's secure, give it a good shake. If you need more, increase your ratios. I'm almost out of matte medium, so I can only do a smaller, smaller mixture. Your pigment ratio really depends on what color you're going for. I'm going to test this here on a piece of textured foam. I took a uh, textured roller and I rolled out some basic texture, painted it white. Not sure how well you could see it right now. What I'll do is I'll apply some wash to it. Now you could see the, the texture there. Now that I am looking at the wash on some terrain, uh, I think I want to go a little darker. So to go darker, I will just add some more carbon black. more droppers full. Uh, that's noticeably darker. Right, set this aside to dry. Let's get another. Let's see how this looks. That's a shade darker, yeah. Play with the colors till you get them where you want. Oh, that's much better, much better. That will give terrain a nice aged, dirty look. Pop some contrast in the recesses. That's what you want with a, a, good, a good wash. 
And you can make any color wash you want just by different combinations of acrylic ink. I've got some blue wash that I use for winter effects. I've got to do, we have winter is coming. So I'll be making some terrain with ice and snow. Maybe I'll make a video of that soon. But anyway, there you go. That's how we make some terrain wash. I, I hope you uh, get something from this video. If, if you do, hit that like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Talk to you later. Yes, Sophie? After the last day of the song. Can I put them on? Yeah, after you're done with them. Well, I'm going to need like 10 minutes to... But I'll, you put them on my fingers? Yeah, can you put them on your fingers after you're done? I can, yes.